Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. If you have one of these MyCloud Western Digital Drives, um, the recent data breach that they're going through right now, um, it's locked you out of your drive. Like, so you physically have your drive here, like sitting on your desktop, like my, I have mine like over here in the corner. But right now it's kind of like a brick. I can't access any of the information on it because the website is down. It gives you a 503 service temporarily unavailable and that is to the, uh, the home.mycloud.com. Uh, I have a little bit of a workaround if you have a public access folder or I think they call it like the, the, the timekeeper folder or something. But here, this is what you do. So, and this is not gonna give you access to your entire drive, but it will get you access to the public folder as well as I, I think they call it a timekeeper folder. We'll, we'll tell in a second. So, um, so if you have this, this is your PC, and you can see that that network drive is no longer there. When you go to your Western Digital app, so it basically tells you uh, My Cloud Home. If you go to sign in on that, sign in, it basically it does nothing. It's totally inactive for you. Um, anyhow, so what I did is I jumped onto uh, Network where you can find that in the Windows series, like 10 and 11. Um, you click on the Windows icon there at the bottom, you go up here, and then you just type in network, and then it will bring up this folder for you. And you should see the My Cloud uh, open up for you right there. Um, and what you can do is you just right uh, click on it, and you hit open, and it's gonna give you access to your folder. So you have, your public folder and your time machine backup. Now, I thought I kind of hit the jackpot when I saw that because I was like, oh, all right, so that should be the backup. But as you can tell, there's nothing in that folder. And if you go over here, the public folder, I actually had a couple files in there for emergency purposes that I took out and I moved elsewhere onto my PC. So that was kind of like a quick workaround. Um, so if you have stuff on your public folder or your time machine backup, at least you have the ability to access that temporarily until Western Digital gets the rest of their uh, their stuff up online. Uh, anyhow, um, as a preventative move forward in the future, and I know a lot of you are probably like, yeah, I can't do anything now, but uh, I got this crucial 4 tetrabyte uh, storage drive that I can put on my PC locally, and there's a couple configurations. Some of your motherboards, actually, the newer ones, have a slot that you can actually put that in and then there is also a, uh, a network card that you can install that will give you access to this as well and again for for the money um, it's four tetrabytes you can put a lot of your critical files on there uh, moving forward but that's what I've done to prepare for the the next potential you know my cloud data breach or whatever is going to happen in the future uh, anyhow I hope that helps a lot of people out there Hopefully you were kind of prepared. I am still working on another type of uh, workaround on how to get into this besides actually uh, cracking open a plastic, taking the drives out and putting, it, putting them into a docking station, which is uh, another possible workaround that you can do here shortly. Uh, anyhow, uh, stay tuned. As I find out updates, I will uh, keep everybody informed and uh, hopefully we'll get through it together. Be safe out there.